I'm Neil. I'm 23 years old and I'm originally from Bangkok, Thailand. I am currently working in PR for the biggest luxury Formula One event in the world, Amber Lounge. A lot of people want to be on the Amber Lounge guest list. A lot of people want to be on the guest list of, of all the events that I'm throwing. My friends know well enough that I can't really help them in, uh, all the time, but I, I do get a lot of acquaintances who you know, call me up last minute and like, oh, I want to get in, I want to get in, but you have to pay the price or, you know, <laughs> work a little harder being my friend, that's all. <laughs> This year, I'm really hoping Sally Ebanks comes. She's one of my favorite supermodels, so I'm really looking forward to that. The vibe in Monaco during the Grand Prix is insane. It's just, there's nothing like it in the world. It's thousands and thousands and thousands of people in such a small space. It's hectic, it's euphoric, it's energetic, it's amazing. When I was younger, I used to do a little bit of modeling. I was the face of Honda, actually, in Thailand. And then my dad actually was the one that actually told me to stop. Because he was like, uh, you know, like, you know, it looks a bit cheap and whatever, but, you know, it was fun. It was a good experience for, like, a 13-year-old. I am really interested in taking over the family business, but I have to do it my way. So I'm thinking of using the fact that my parents work in the luxury industry as a stepping stone and then making something bigger and grander out of it. Uh, moving into more, more Neil, you know, something more me. But at the same time, I always have to respect the fact of where I'm from, that, you know, I am an heir to something, and I have to respect that, but keep in mind that YOLO, you know, I, I'm here once, <laughs> gotta fucking do it, you know, <laughs> gotta fucking make my own dreams come true. I think in five years from now, I want to start my own aspirational lifestyle brand. I would love to have my own, like, line of cosmetics, like a fashion line, a car line, like anything. Like, if I could put my name on everything, it would be fantastic because I'm such a creative person and I know what the luxury consumer wants. I grew up in it. You know, when I was younger, I wasn't playing with toys or plastic guns. I was playing with diamonds and stuff that my parents had in their safe, you know? So for me, like, I knew, I know what the luxury consumer wants and I want to give it to them.